Welcome back to another DaVinci Graph tutorial. In this video, we'll be exploring filter rules in the Snapshot service, learning how to set up and manage rules to select the exact accounts you want in your snapshots. Whether you're creating simple rules or more complex conditions, I'll walk you through each step. Filter rules are a set of conditions that specify how Hedera accounts must be filtered for snapshots. For simplicity, we have designed the filter rule definitions as if you are creating sentences. The sentences always start with accounts that have. Now the simplest form of filter rules is when it only comprises one sentence, for example, accounts that have associated DaVinci token, or accounts that have a balance greater than two DaVinci tokens, or accounts that have a balance between two to five DaVinci Graph Gold NFTs. But this is not always the case. Often, we want to filter the accounts based on several factors, so filter rules often contain multiple sentences. If you look at this example, you see two rules that jointly start with the phrase accounts that have. Then you see the word both, which indicates the relationship between the two rules, meaning both of the rules must be true for any Hedera account to be selected. So, in this example, we are filtering accounts that have both associated DaVinci tokens and, at the same time, have a balance greater than one sauce token. Or, in this example, you can see the relationship between these three rules as one of. This means that only one of the rules needs to be true for a Hedera account to be selected. This example filters the accounts that either have associated DaVinci, sauce, or pack tokens. We call a set of isolated rules with their relationship a branch. Branches can be nested, meaning a branch can contain rules and other branches. This gives us the ability to design even more complicated rules if needed. For example, look at these filter rules. As you can see, there are two branches involved, where the second branch is a child of the first branch. This filter rule would be read like this. Accounts that have associated Da Vinci tokens and have associated one of Sauce, Pack, or Grelf tokens. So, the accounts must definitely be associated with the Da Vinci token, while at the same time, they only need to be associated with one of the Sauce, Pack, or Grelf tokens. For example, an account that has associated Da Vinci and Grelf tokens will be selected, but an account that has only associated Da Vinci or only associated Grelf, Sauce, and Pack will not be selected. It needs one of the three tokens and the Da Vinci token. The branches can be nested up to three levels but such cases are rare and mostly not practical. An important note about nested branches is that branches cannot be a child of the same type branch. For example, a both branch cannot be a child of another both branch. These branches can only be nested as children of the opposite type. Now that we're familiar with filter rules and their structure, let's learn how to define them. When you are about to define your first rule, you'll see a rule definition form. Rules can be of two types, associated and a balance, and the first item of the form allows you to select between them. By selecting either of them, you'll see the form change. For the first rule, let's filter the accounts that have associated Grelf tokens. We select associated, and then for the token, we select Grelf. Since I haven't added the Grelf token, I must first add it in the token section. So, I go up, search for it, and select it there. Then, I select the Grelf token for the rule. Now I click on the green checkmark button, and this way, we have created our first rule. This filter rule will select all the Hedera accounts that have associated Grelf tokens. Next, let's try an A balance rule. For that, let's just edit the current rule and change it to A balance. As you can see, the form changes again. In this type of rule, we must select the type of comparison we want. For example, we can choose more than, less than, or others. Here, we select more than or equal to. As you see, the next item is the amount, which is a numeric value. We enter one, and for the next step, we select the token, leaving it as Grelf tokens. We save the rule. And this way, we have a rule that filters Hedera accounts that have a balance of more than or equal to one Grelf token. Let's say we want Hedera accounts that also have associated DOVU tokens. For that, we need another rule, 
whose relationship to the current rule must be both, since we need the accounts that have a balance of more than or equal to one Grelf, and also have associated DoView tokens. So, whenever we need to make a branch out of a rule, we hover over the rule, and at the beginning of it, we click on the New Branch button. As you can see, a new rule definition form has opened. We fill out the form and save it. This way, we have defined our first branch. Now let's say we want to add a new rule to an existing branch. Notice that we don't want to create any new branches. We only want to add a new rule to an existing one. To do that, hover over the branch, and at the bottom of it, you'll find a green plus button that adds a new rule definition form. Let's add a rule for accounts that have associated Crete tokens. As you can see, as soon as a branch's rules have more than two items, its title changes from both to all. Though its title is now all, we must remember that its nature is still the same, and for easier understanding, we always refer to it as both. Now let's say we change our mind and want the accounts that only satisfy one of these rules. So we need to change the relationship between the rules of this branch. To do that, simply click on both and select one of. This way, you can easily change a branch's type from both to one of or vice versa. Another tip that I must mention is that a token can only be used once within a specific branch. For example, here if I add another rule that says associated Grelf token, we get an error because Grelf has already been used in this branch, and I need to remove one of these rules so the filter rules are valid again. So, is there no way to filter accounts based on a range in their balances? Yes, there is. For that, we use between or between or equal to comparison operators. Let's change the Grelf rule to a balance between or equal to one to five Grelf tokens. Before we move on to the last example, I just want to show you how to delete a rule. To delete a rule, hover over the rule and press the button with the trash can icon. Then press confirm and the rule gets removed. You can remove all the rules except for the first one. This is because every snapshot must have at least one rule. But if you're not satisfied with its content, you can change it. Very well, before we finish this video, let's start over, and I'll show you the filter rules that we, as DaVinci Graph, use for our NFT holder's snapshot. For that, we need to filter Hedera accounts that have associated DaVinci tokens while, at the same time, having one of our DaVinci Graph gold, silver, or bronze NFTs. So now we start to create the first rule, which is an association with the DaVinci token. Next, we create a new branch and specify accounts that have a balance of more than or equal to one gold NFT. Here, we must also create a branch out of the gold balance rule because we need accounts that have either gold, silver, or bronze NFTs. So we press the new branch button again. We enter the silver balance rule. Then, I click on the green plus button to add another rule, and I enter the bronze balance rule. This way, as you see, we only select Hedera accounts that have associated DaVinci tokens and have at least one NFT from these collections. And that's it. Now you know how to create and manage filter rules, whether for simple snapshots or more complex scenarios. By using branches and customizing conditions, you can target exactly the accounts you need. For more tips and advanced features, Check out our next tutorial on allocation strategies. Thanks for watching.